Anderson and Pickens counties were some of the hardest hit areas from the late night storms. Our crew on the scene there saw a lot of trees down, one even landing on a car. 7 News' Rochelle Spence, she is live and easily showing us some of that damage. Rochelle? Yeah, Tracy, Fred, this just a couple pieces of debris that had to be cleared from the road. And you can tell kind of by looking at this piece of wood here how it was split, just how strong these winds were. It's still windy right now and easily. You take a look behind me, kind of hard to show you because the sun's not up quite yet. But this storage facility, the roof collapsed there. And you saw what this was made of, some metal, some steel, some wood, a significant collapse here. And this debris was all blocking the road. The damage doesn't stop there, though. Take a look in Anderson County. This is video now that our crew got on the scene overnight. We saw trees on the ground there. One even fell on top of a truck doing significant damage. Also, some people without power this morning because those trees brought down power lines. And here in Star, a roof torn right off of a trailer. We talked to that homeowner. The weather was safe and stuff like that. We made sure the... Uh, the, everything outside was fine, and we come out to the tree down, and half the roof looked off on the back side. So, but we're just glad everybody made it out, and everybody's safe. Now we drove over here to Easley from Spartanburg. Didn't see a lot of damage on that car ride over, so this tent seems to be in very specific areas. Some people waking up to a peaceful morning, others going to have to do quite a bit of cleanup. We are live in Easley. Rochelle Spence, 7 News. Thank you.